Are you thinking of moving to White House, Texas? Then amazing, because this is the perfect video for you. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna give you a little tour of White House. We are going to go to a couple of different neighborhoods at different price points and compare the price of the homes in those different neighborhoods. The goal of this video is to give you a better idea of what White House is all about and give you a little bit more knowledge so you can make an informed decision about where you want to move to. Make sure you stick around to the end because we're gonna be going to Lake Tyler and we're gonna be looking at a couple of multi, multi-million dollar homes. All of that coming up right after this. Howdy everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those new here, my name is Ronnie Withers and if you wanna know what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep and play in Tyler, Texas and the surrounding areas, just like White House, go ahead and smash that subscribe button as hard as you can and give the notification bell a tiny little tap so you are the first to be notified on any Tyler, Texas market updates. Okay, so today we are in White House, Texas and what we're gonna be doing, as always, we're gonna be getting in the car, going on a little tour uh, giving you a bit more information about White House and then we're going to be going to three different neighbourhoods and looking at different price point homes. But before we do that, it is the morning and it's not the nicest morning, so I'm going to have to get my morning fix in. So we're here at Shibi Coffee in White House and we're going to get my, get my nice masculine drink of an iced caramel latte and we're going to see how it is and I'll come out and I'll let you know how the coffee tastes. Oh, that definitely hits the spot. Shibi coffee, little hole in the wall place here in White House, absolutely amazing. I would highly recommend it. If you were ever in White House visiting, go to Shibi coffee if you like coffee. It's so good. So I've been getting calls every single day of people just like you who are looking at either relocating to Tyler, moving within Tyler, or selling their Tyler home. If that sounds like you, go ahead and give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, and I'd love to see what in the world I could do to help you and get you into your dream Tyler home. With all that out of the way, let's get in the car, let's take you on a little tour around White House, and, and hopefully the weather gets a little bit better today. Let's do this, cheers. We're gonna start off our little tour of White House at the community library, so the White House community library, only because I think it's a pretty cool looking building. So it's right here. So we're in the kind of downtown area of White House. Now, White House sits southeast of Tyler and it is about 11 miles or 20 minutes from downtown Tyler, but it also sits around eight miles or around about 18, 17, 18 minutes from the shops and anything you could need in South Tyler. So there's actually a lot of history with White House. It was originally founded, unofficially founded, in 1848, I believe, 1848, uh, but wasn't recognized as a city until 1952. So the White House community was named in 1845, but didn't become an official town until 1953. And so that was, that was a, fair, a fair while ago. And actually, the sign that we were just at, the Welcome to White House sign, that was built with the original rocks of, of a, a rock house that was placed uh, in the 1950s. Uh, I think that's pretty, pretty exciting. So White House is a small community of around 9,000 people. And just like a lot of the other small towns around Tyler, it's very self-sufficient. So we have things like a Brookshire's, we have the library like we just saw, we have a gym. So the people of White House don't need to be going into Tyler all the time, just like everywhere else I've seen it in my other videos. You've kind of got everything you need right here. Now I'm just walking up to a place called The Rec, which is a little, a little community center, recreation center. So it's got a small gym in there and it's a community center where a lot of people gather as well. So you'll be able to see that. That is right behind me, right over there. In this, this downtown area, it's not a small downtown like somewhere like Bullard, but it is really nice. And I'm just walking, walking around here. We've got everything in a, a small compact area. So we have the library, the police, the fire station, city hall and everything uh, around each other. And I'm actually excited to come to this. So a really cool thing about White House is maybe not this kind of time of year, but in the summer, this is great for kids, but it has a splash park or a splash pad, which is right there, which I'll go up to. So the splash pad is located in the park, which is just behind the city hall. Looks like, I mean, for the right reasons, it's pretty chilly now, but 
So you pay $3 for admission, whether you want to go in or whether you want to watch. And it's closed now because it's December, it's almost Christmas. So I bought my swimsuit just in case, but I guess it's not going to be today that I can go on the splash pad. But right next door to the splash pad is White House City Park. So it's not a huge park, it's a, it's a pretty small one, but it's a bit of Greenland in the city. So what more can you ask for? I've just walked into the park and this is a really cute little park. So you've got a, a small amphitheater here, which is decorated really nicely for Christmas. Um, so they put on little plays for, for the kids and different times of the year and people can hang out here. Just imagine how hot it gets here in East Texas. It'd be nice to just hang out, have some a barbecue in the, in the park, have some shade here for when it's raining as well. It's just a really nice place to be. It's a nice addition to White House. As I always do around Christmas time, I like having a look at all the different Christmas stuff. Love Christmas. Love the huge Christmas trees. And it feels like I'm kind of becoming a bit of a, a play area connoisseur, which is that weird to say? I don't know. But let's have a look at the little playground here, which it's nice. It's it's pretty small. It's not the biggest one or the, the necessarily the nicest one I've seen, but it's a very solid play area. Got a slide for, for the kids, a little rock wall, a bigger slide over there. And this thing, actually, this, this makes it a lot better. This is a, it looks like something you grab onto. Let's try this with one hand. Am I gonna fall? I don't know if I can do this. Oh, nah, that's not happening. Right, so we have that, which I can imagine a lot of fun as a kid. Uh, we have some monkey bars as well. Nice. And we have a small little bar, which if you're an adult, you can come here, do some morning workouts, get some pull-ups in, perfect. The main thing that people have talked to me about that they really like about White House is the people. And you'll find that in a lot of the small areas of East Texas is the people are so nice around here and the people make the community. So that's a great thing. From everyone I've spoke to, people absolutely love living in White House. It's a great place to raise a family. The town of White House was rated last year, it was rated in the top 50 safest cities in Texas, which for me, that's really important. Like starting a family and raising a family, like you need to, you need to be in a safe place. So White House, really safe area. Also the White House ISD, so the independent school district is a really, really solid school district as well. It was rated A on niche.com and can't really get too much better. And also, it's the home of NFL Kansas City Chiefs quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. So let's actually go to the high school now and see if we can see the stadium where he used to play. Um, and then we can move on to our neighborhood tours. On a bit of a side tangent, one thing that I absolutely love about White House and small towns in general in Texas is the amount of family owned small businesses around here. So in White House, we have things like Nick's Roses, uh, which has some of the nicest roses and Tyler's known for its roses, but Nick's is where it's at. And then we've got three real authentic Texas barbecue spots here in White House as well, which I love barbecue, it's amazing. Um, so they're definitely to, to try out as well, but that's just a little thing that I love about this area. Okay, so I was speaking earlier about the White House ISD and how highly rated it is. And I also briefly mentioned about this being the home of Patrick Mahomes Jr., who now plays for the Kansas City Chiefs. And I'm actually here now at his high school football field. So this is the home of the White House Wildcats. So this is as close as I can get, but this is the football field. This is where Patrick Mahomes Jr. played and where he got his start in football. It's really exciting to me. There's a, a track around here as well. This is right by the junior high, I believe. And Patrick Mahomes went to the high school. Coming from England, this is pretty crazy to me. This is the size of our professional football team stadiums, not a high school team. Our high school team is a muddy field with about 10 people watching you playing football or soccer. So this is, Pretty ridiculous to me in a good way that this is what sport is in the US. It's just so, it's so exciting. Look how many people can fit here, especially to watch someone who comes, becomes as successful as Patrick Mahomes Jr. Also, I mentioned about safety earlier. Have a look at this. This is why White House is so safe. I love this. This is how it should be everywhere. Just saying, keep that in mind. Send your schools, your kids here. 
that's the treatment your kids get, which is good stuff. Now let's move on to our neighborhood tour section of the video. We're gonna be going to three different neighborhoods in three different price point areas. Starting off at budget, kind of starter homes, moving up to the intermediate home, and then we're gonna be finishing in Lake Tyler and some multi-million dollar homes. Quick fact about the housing market here. So the average price of a home here in White House is around $387,500. So just keep that in mind when we're looking at the, the houses going forward, and that's the average in the last year of what homes have sold for here in White House. Without further ado, let's move on to our first neighborhood. The first neighborhood that we're in <clears throat> is the Willows neighborhood here in White House. So this is a budget starter home neighborhood. Uh, the homes were built in the early 2000s and the average price is sitting at around $200,000. And you'll find some houses at the mid to higher 100s and then they'll go into the um, low 200,000s as well. This is a, a very, it's a nice starter neighborhood um, it's pretty secluded, so you're not going to have lots of cars around it. It's off of a main road. The, the homes are quite small, and it's a, a very good place to start when you do, you do want to buy a home. For example, this one here, this house here, it last sold for $186,000. It's 960 square foot, two bed, one and a half bath, and that's the kind of thing you'll get for your money here. Early 2000s, that one was built in 2001. Um, and most of the houses here are brick and all in all a really great little starter community and one thing you know I love sidewalks and there's sidewalks so that's a big positive for this neighborhood I'm walking around all the Christmas lights are up it's looking it's looking nice and pretty all ready for Christmas so this would be a really solid choice this neighborhood here and to jump in become a first-time homeowner maybe get something around the the high 100s at that budget and then maybe in a couple years then upgrade to a slightly more expensive home okay so let's now go on to our second neighborhood the prices are a little bit higher so it's a bit of that mid-range neighborhood and then we'll finish off in lake tyler i'll see you on the other side neighborhood number two so this is the sunny meadows neighborhood this is a new build community or houses that were built in 2021 as well so a couple years old but the homes in this area are really really nice if you just look around they're they're beautiful they're they're all different they're not cookie cutter homes um they're really nice so the average price point of a home here is around three hundred and sixty three thousand dollars. but there is a range as well like normal um for example this home right behind me here recently sold for four hundred and forty seven thousand dollars. it is 2,300 square foot, four bed, two bath, and is a new construction. Lovely wide roads, sidewalks on both sides of the roads. It is really walkable. It's a really nice community off of the beaten track. So you're not gonna have too many people come here. It's not gonna get too busy. Um, it's just a really nice place to live. A really nice place for families. Uh, the homes are quite big. So a couple of the homes in this neighborhood come with acreage as well. Um, so for example, this home here recently sold for $383,000, four bed, two bath, 2,000 square foot, and it comes with two acres. So not a bad price to pay for a couple of acres in a, like a suburban neighborhood. I'm really impressed with this neighborhood. I just spoke to one of the residents who, who pulled up here and she said there's a lot of new builds coming along. There's actually a neighborhood next to this and a lot of people are wanting to move here and it's really popular and I can see why. It's just a really nice place to live. Um, if you wanna raise your family here, it's the, the, the roads are safe, the neighbors seem really nice. So it's just a class neighborhood. Okay, now we're just gonna get back in the car and we're gonna head over to Lake Tyler. I'm gonna show you around there a little bit and then we can see if we can see some uh, multi-million dollar homes as well. They're, I'm just going to warn you, they're not going to be the easiest to see. They're not going to be as open as, as the homes here because they're all, they're all gated. Um, but we're going to see as much as we can and we'll go from there and have a little look at the lake and maybe go for a little swim. I know it's like 40 degrees, but we'll see. Okay, so the third and final neighborhood, what everyone has been waiting for. So this community is the Lake Tyler community. An average house here sells for around $2 million. Um, these houses behind me are a lot more than that but the, the kind of house you'll get here is you won't really get much of a yard. 
compared to a normal house you will but it's not a huge yard but you're backing right onto lake tyler so that's why it's so expensive here now this house right here that we're going to have a look at just real quick through the gate is for sale for around 5.5 million dollars and it is around 11,000 square foot six bed five bath three half baths and has a swimming pool and completely backs onto Lake Tyler. So that is what you get for that, that steep, hefty price tag. There it is. Has a swimming pool, has anything you could ever need right on Lake Tyler. Can't see too much of it because it's gated, which I don't blame them. I would as well for a house that costs that, that much. Just a great house. We'll go and look at one more in the, the million or $2 million range, and then we'll, we'll show you the lake and then we'll head, we'll head on from there. This is another area of the Lake Tyler community. You can kind of, you can see Lake Tyler backing on there. Um, and there's lots of houses all around this area. Um, the ones on this side are backing onto the lake. Actually, they're, they're both backing onto the lake because Taylor, Tyler, Lake Tyler kind of goes around. So another house, this one here, last fold for $1.97 million. So close to that two point. Um, and then it's five bed, four bath, three half baths, around 5,800 square foot. So yeah, so that's what you get for around the average mark of the, the two million-ish dollars. But the houses around here are just so beautiful. They're so nice. Um, and there's just, there's different ways you can get, get to the lake and you just live right on the lake. And a lot of people have boats and I don't blame them. So you're just so close, there's a, a boat dock right there a ramp to get into the lake and you're just within steps so that's what you're paying for that high price tag and you're getting a really nice house as well so let's just pull up on lake tyler now and have a little look around and you can actually see what the lake looks like it's not going to be the prettiest in in december it'll still look really nice but if we're here in the summer i'll do a video when we come back in the summertime and, and see how how many people are on lake tyler but Let's go there right now. To finish up the video, I am here at Lake Tyler. I'm actually at the Marina Resort, and this is one of the entrances to the lake, and we've got the boat dock right here. In the summer, this is a lot, lot busier. It's only because it's Christmas time and it's cold and, and quite gray that, that no one's here. This is the place where people come to enjoy the lake. Um, there are different entrances and different places for people to go swimming, people go boating, wakeboarding, anything you like, um, but this is one of them. So this is an absolute great place. And then once you've had a long day at the lake, you can have some food at the Lakeside Grill, which is, which is right here as well. If you've made it to the end of the video, thank you so, so much for watching. Like I said at the beginning, my name is Ronnie Withers. And if you wanna to move to Tyler, relocate, or sell your Tyler home, go ahead and give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, and I'd love to see what I can do to help you. If you're from White House, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box below. What do you want me to go and see next? What have I missed? What could uh, I go see? What do you think is a good thing to do in White House? If you're new, leave a comment. Let me know what in the Tyler area you want me to see. And I'll add it to the list and I'll make that happen. Until next time, Cheerio. Oh, 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 oh,